Hello FlossTube! How are you guys doing? I hope you're doing fine and that you're enjoying this rainy weekend. I just love this kind of weather. It's like, yeah, fall is in the air, so it's just amazing. I love it. It is Saturday the 29th of August, I think it is. And it's just early afternoon and uh, this is Floss Tube 22 and I'm Linda and I just hit the microphone, sorry. And I'm gonna try to, as usually, try to make it short, but we'll see how that will go. I have a huge box here of haul from traditional stitches. So we're going to take a closer look at that. But before we start with that, uh, I will talk a little bit about the comments on my videos for last time. I uh, introduced the question of the week from heaven and earth and the majority of you all said white. So I think we can all agree that white or very light colors are the colors we like the least to stitch with. So, or I should say the colors we don't like as much as stitching with other colors because we love stitching, right? Uh, so there weren't any questions or anything else, so that's fine. And um, yeah, that's all. Yeah. So I was stitching on uh, three projects, projects this week and it has been a tough week at work so i haven't had as much time as i wanted to um, but i've been keeping a little bit track on in my new monthly monthly planner i just i don't use it as a planner i use it as more like a diary i guess and every time i started stitching on my mirabilia or my sampler I forgot to kind of, you know, take the time, so I don't have a clue on how much time I've spent on them. But I did record the amount of stitches I did on my heaven and earth. So it's going to be all white and difficult to see. But so this is the week where I started using the planner and um, I planned on stitching on my Jane Hearth 1868 sampler, the reproduce sampler by Heaven and no, by Hands Across the Sea samplers. And I planned on stitching on portrait of Veronica. And the wheel chose I Vampiri Pieta. Um, so I've been stitching on that. So I made a total of 1,865 stitches on Vampiri, the Heaven and Earth designs. And I stitched on Mirabilia for like four days. So most of the evenings I've been stitching on her. And I just spent one evening stitching on my Jane Hearth. So we'll start with Jane Hearth. I actually got to do the two birds and if I know myself well I will put in a picture here of the sampler. So and the thing is I stitched one bird and then I realized it looked kind of wrong positioned and I was like this doesn't look correct and it wasn't because I had turned the whole sampler upside down. So I had to frog it and start over. So this is it. These are the two birds I did one evening. And this is the whole sampler like this. So 
not very much at all but every stitch is a, is you know is progress so I don't know why I just feel like protecting the sampler with the silks and the nice uh, weave you know because there's a lot of uh, fabric that you don't stitch on so I want it to be as clean as possible and not to have too many um, dog hairs on it so that was that just two birds uh, I'm gonna continue stitching on it next week of course and then we have the Mirabilia I'm enjoying this so much she's so beautiful and again it's very easy stitching and I'm starting to look forward to I know there is some chronic in it so I want the challenge let's see this is it has a live on its own it's alive people it's live okay here we go. Yes. It's, I mean, it looks so beautiful on camera. It's unbelievable. So I have a little bit left here, I think. Oh, I just want to finish the dress and get to her, you know, arms and face. And I want to get to start to do the beating. I mean, yeah, I'm very, very satisfied with the Mirabilis. I'm very happy I found out about them. So, but even though, you know, when I stitch Mirabilia, I just realized I forgot to tell you about all the materials. Anyway, when I uh, stitch Mirabilia, I feel, you know, it's very simple. There's a lot of you know, blocks of color and not, you know, no confetti or anything like that. So it's easy stitching. But you know, the moment I jump to my heaven and earth, yeah, the, you know, there's a lot of color changing and everything, but I've said it so many times before, it, it's really like home. It's, it's so nice to stitch heaven and earth. I just... If you haven't noticed, just love, hates, you know, I just love them. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, my uh, sampler from Hands Across the Sea is stitched on 40 count, and I'm using silk threads, soy doll share, one strand over two, and my Mirabilia, I'm using, uh, I'm stitching it on the 32 count linen called for um, and I'm using DMC thread stitching with two threads over two yes glad we got that out and then we have my wonderful heaven and earth by Ivan Pieta this is the progress I did not too much I didn't finish a page but I had a, a real thread mess and a lot of parked threads so my goal was to kind of, you know, uh, finish, uh, just get rid of the thread uh, mess. So I almost got it all done. There are some uh, thread ends here, which I didn't, uh, I, I wasn't able to cut away, but I did do a little bit progress. It's almost 2000 stitches, so I think that's pretty good beautiful so and that's stitched on I'm, I'm pretty sure it's 28 count but it didn't feel very small so but I guess 28 count one over one and if it isn't 28 count it is 25 count um, is there anything else to tell you about this since I didn't feel you know, the need, like, you know, when I stitched Midnight Watcher or Grandmaster, I feel like 
I don't really want to put it away. I want to continue. And I didn't feel like this on this. I, I love the design. I love Jasmine, uh, her designs, her beautiful uh, faces, of special faces with the big eyes. Um, but I didn't feel like, mm, I don't want to put it down. I was like, oh, let me stitch something else. And even uh, this morning, I picked up my um, Fantastic Voyage and started stitching a little bit on that. Um, so there are, that's what I really like about the wheel is that I actually get to work on some of the designs where I felt like, yeah, I think I want to stitch this. And when I start stitching them, like for, again with the midnight watcher i was like oh yeah not so fun stitching on her again but at the same time i don't want to put her down that makes me realize that i really want to continue stitching on that but with the resistance training and ivan piri i'm like you know it's okay not to stitch on them anymore so i think i might remove them from my stitchy wheel and then you know get more opportunity stitch to stitch on the signs I prefer so those are the only three projects I stitched on I didn't stitch on my long dog or anything I just I'm going through a little bit of stuff which is uh, just wearing me out But three projects, I think I have done quite okay process still. Uh, so let's just uh, jump right ahead and let's see what the wheel tells me to stitch the coming week. Alrighty then, let's go to the spin wheel, spin the wheel. Okay. Let's spin the wheel. All right, this is what I'm going to stitch. Okay, yeah, so I think you noticed that <laughs> um, the wheel, I don't know, uh, but I had to spin the wheel a couple of times because it kept just choosing the projects I've been stitching on the last week. So, but this week we're stitching Spooky House. Yes. I was planning on stitching Spooky House um, for Halloween because for me, that's a Halloween piece. Um, so just hang on, I will go and get it okay that took a while I couldn't find it so I don't have a thread pack but I bought the threads um, it's like the, the new threads the new from 01 up to 35 and I've already stitched this much on it yeah, I think, oh, everything fit in the frame, yeah. So I'm extreme cross-country stitching the spooky house and it's a quick stitch. The funny thing is that it's not a quick stitch. It is spooky house, quick stitch, and it's max colors. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. And I've stitched all the black. So that's the color there were the most stitches. And this over here is the big horse. Anyway, I will put in a picture here on Spooky House, of course, but also you will see which Amy Stewart design this is a part of. So this is actually um, the Treasure Hunt bookshelf. The first bookshelf Heaven and Earth designs uh, released with Amy Stewart. 
and everyone was just crazy when the design came out. So, so someone has requested a like a quick stitch or a cutout from the design, and uh, they have you know enhanced that picture. Uh, so it's actually going to be just as big as like a regular chart. So it's it's gonna look really awesome. So for me, Spooky House is like a Halloween design. So I'm, this is going to be fun to stitch. And I don't know if, since it's max colors, I don't think that the next color, um, the second most used, it's going to be that much because um, it's max colors. If it was regular colors, it would might be like 10,000 stitches. So I'm going to be boring and actually go look. Um, let's go to my drive and I will hurry. I can't hurry because it, you know, it has this mind of its own. Let's see. It's um, oh, it's a recharted chart. Okay. Yeah, recharted. <clears throat> So cool, 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 cool. I will look which color can it be? Let's see, 803, 823. One of my favorite colors, 823. Yeah, it seems, it seems that the next color I'm gonna stitch with is 823 because there's over 13,000 stitches of that color. So I usually get about 2,000 stitches a week. So we all know it, that's not gonna happen. Or it will be like, not a, a focus piece, but maybe after th this past week, maybe I will keep on stitching a little bit on it. We'll see. Um, so that's the coming plans. Um, and then of course, Mirabilia and I'm going to stitch, maybe there's two small birds on my sampler. I might do them only and we'll see. So that's that. Um, oh, question of the week. This week's question, I will put it up here. The question is what it is about a chart that draws you in, that draw you into it. What, what is it that you like about a chart or even dislike about it? Is it, you know, the bright colors or the amount of confetti or animals or yeah, you know, a, a, a landscape or something? Is it dragons? Is it cats? Uh, so like the last time, I would love to to hear your questions or answers. So please leave a comment below and let me know what it is that, you know, catches your attention or dislike a chart. And it doesn't have to be heaven and earth designs. It could be like any design. So for me, <coughs> um, it is uh, the detail in a chart. Um, the more realistic it looks, uh, the better. I like it, I guess. And I love it when, when there's like a lot of things going on on the chart. Um, and I, I mentioned, I think it was last uh, episode, what I don't like about chart is when it looks as if 
you know, you have just cut out something and just glued it into the picture. And that is something that makes me dislike a chart. So that's that. And uh, it's like next, next week is September and I love this time of year. And I feel like, you know, let's just celebrate fall and uh, let's do a heaven and earth stitchy kindness. Um, so yeah, if you would like to join a random act of kindness, I'm not going to say giveaway, if you want to win, to have the chance to win a heaven and earth design chart. Uh, it's going to be a PDF. Uh, you know, leave a comment below. Um, let's uh, use the word um, hate, H-A-E-D heaven and earth designs I would prefer capital letters and I will draw a winner in my next floss tube next weekend so you need to be a subscriber I'm gonna check that out of course and uh, you need to be over 18 uh, if you're not please have your parents uh, permission and you have to go and fill out the form, uh, the Stitchy Kindness form. I have linked it down below. Uh, if you haven't, uh, then I will draw another winner. So yeah, I think that would be nice. Yes. And there has just been a sale. I don't know if there, the sale is still on Heaven and Earth, but um, I didn't get anything. I bought some Mirabilia instead, so. I'm taking it easy. What else? We are going to look at the new releases on Heaven and Earth. Yeah. Let's go to heaven and earth. So I think this was the last week's design, the latest one. So they have released a beginner angel line of lamp. So these charts usually have less uh, colors, so less detail. Let's see. No, there's actually 90 colors in it. Is it the size? Maybe. It's a very sweet one. And it is Donna Gelsinger. Yeah, we like her designs. And then we have a mini black on black, but there is no background. I think we had this one the other episode, I think. So this is Irina Garmashova. I mean, look at those eyes. But look at all that black. Yeah, but so it has 90 colors. Let's see, you know, when you push um, the picture uh, and then you press the picture once more, you get the crop and then you can get an idea on how it's going to look uh, when it's finished. And I don't know why it doesn't want to, yeah. So this is how it's gonna look finished, right? It still looks pretty cool, even though it's like a mini. And then we have a supersized story keep, um, Tiki Beach Sunset. So this is Amy Stewart. And a story keep is just, you know, when the size is very long and thin. And it's so cool when you, you make them as a supersized. I mean, look at that wind catcher. It's so beautiful. 
very nice. So it has 90 colors and it's 990 stitch, 99 stitches tall. That's cool. It's gonna look amazing. <clears throat> and then we have Mini Sapphire Galaxy Jaguar. Sheena Pike. Let's let's take a look at this one as well as a mini. Yeah, that's nice. Nice detail still. And we had some more of her cats. Mini Aqua Lime Leopard. Oh, I love the green in his eyes and the nose. And then we have mini cafe terrace on the place. And this is the art of the antiques. It's very pretty. Imagine sitting there in the evening with, well, I, would, I was going to say a cup of coffee, but a nice cold beer would be nice as well, I guess. Oh, I like this one. Mini wild tigers by Carol Cavallaris. So beautiful. Very nice. I love the colors. Oh yeah, and then we have the Dragon's Garden Max Colors. I like this one. There's so many things going on. And all the animals. Yeah, I love this one. And it's Rose Khan. Oh, I love the dog. She's petting there. What's next? Sun Fairies. Request a size. It's by Nancy Faulkner. I love the sun. I mean, oh, I love the sun. It looks so pretty. But a picture like this, even though, you know, I think it's very pretty. I think, you know, stitching all that, the sky and the water and the trees. So there's too little going on for my taste, but it's a beautiful design, nevertheless. And we have a mini bounty of fall. So this would be a perfect size to request. If you win, it's perfect for this time of year. It's just amazing colors, you know, really pretty and all the flowers and yeah, it makes you happy. The, uh, the designer is Mickey Senkarik. And then there is Tapestry of Fall, I guess. It's the, it's the same designer, Mickey Sankaric, Sankaric. So it's the same door and stuff, but in another angle. Still so pretty. I love the colors. And then we have some dragons, yeah. Sheena Pike. They're cute. Look at them. They're so cute. This would also be perfect to stitch now and especially next month. Uh, no, not September, but in October. How big is this one? Oh, it's a 400 by 500. 87 colors. So cute. And we have Spring Dragon. Also Sheena Pike. Oh yeah, and he's coming out of his egg or she. That's a nice one if you like purple. <laughs> and we have Summer Dragon. Look at the crazy hair. <laughs> oh, look at the feet. Oh my God, that's so cute. And 
And so the last is the winter dragon. Winter is coming, baby. So pretty, right? Yeah, I like them. I think I like the autumn dragon most. Yeah. So. That's it. That was the releases. So I'm just going to check if I've written something down I need to remember. Um, yeah, the Stitchy Retreat I'm going to at the end of September. It's just like a month left to go and it's going to happen. It's just amazing. Um, the uh, what you call it, not the guidelines, but uh, before we were only allowed to be 50 people in Sweden uh, to meet and they've changed that to a 500. Uh, and we're like 27 people going to the retreat and there is no one else. It's just going to be us. So we have the whole place to, to ourselves and the room we're going to sit and stitch has been like Corona saved for 50 people. And we're just going to be 27. So it, there's going to be plenty of space to keep the distance. So it's going to happen unless, you know, everything crashes down in this month. We never know. But um, I'm really looking forward to it. And I bought some fabric. So I'm going to try. Uh, there are some workshops. So I'm going to learn how to uh, dye my own fabric. And I think... We're going to learn how to do our own needle minder. So I'm really looking forward to that. Yes. So it's time for haul. And I really want to try to not make it too long. But I have received a whole box of goodies from traditional stitches. And I ordered also a thread pack from uh, Barb at the Thread Geeks uh, on Facebook. So if you want to join the group and you can't find it, just let me know and I will invite you. I mean, she's great. Great service. If you, especially if you live in Europe, this is going to be worth the money. So I bought the thread pack for this piece, Deliosa, Deliziosa, yes. And it is so pretty. It's one of the newer designs and I love her dress. I love the water and all the goldish um, details in the fountain there in, in the back and the dove. And how she's so pretty and then she's holding you know these grapes and yeah so this is the thread pack and the colors don't look that fun but together they're gonna make such a beautiful design and i thought you know when she sent the thread pack i went straight into the swedish store and ordered a piece of fabric they even haven't sent it yet. I thought she was going to send it like the same day. So I would have all the things right away. But that didn't happen. So I can't start it. So let's see. Um, this is a thread pack for... Let's see. A Dog's Last Will and Testament. Let's see. I'm sorry if it's going to crackle a lot, but everything is packed up in plastic. I love dogs. I have two. I have had a dog since 2005. 
and I saw this pattern from um, Heart String Heart String Samplery, and it's the last will and testament testimony of a dog. And when I read it, I'm not going to be able to read it for you guys because I'm just going to start crying. But when I read it, I started crying, and I was like, I need this piece on my wall here together with the dog's declaration from ink circles but so this is that one and um i ordered a lot of uh kits from traditional stitches but because of the situation with corona and everything they're having troubles to get especially fabric so I haven't got the fabric for this and some of the kits don't have all the threads either so they will be sent later on so I can't start anything just yet but the threads are gentle art threads very nice and subtle yes so, I don't think I will read all the colors for you it's gonna take way too long so that's that and then I ordered oh my god I can't believe I ordered this one 101 alphabets by Rosewood Manners and I can't wait to start this one I don't have the fabric for this either but it's such a cool sampler um, so this is the thread pack for that it's DMC colors um it's gonna look amazing but there it needs a big piece of fabric for it and then we have um threads for the um the dog's declaration by uh, ink circles uh, I had ordered the, the chart before, so I will put it up here for you to see. And still, uh, I think it's uh, Picture This Plus fabric, and it, it was going to take a month for me to get it. So I don't know when I'm going to start this thing. And I think this is uh, the uh, Vivaldi. What's it called? Valdani threads. So I'm looking forward to start that one as well. And what else did we get? I got his eye on the sparrow. And I should get the other one as well. The... the what do you call it? There's two, um, two of these charts by Heartspring Samplery. Um, but I, I like this one very much. I didn't buy any threads or anything. I just, I think it was a, li a limited edition. I'm not sure, but um, I thought. I need to get this one. So that's that. And then I got this and some more floss away bags, a hundred more. So now I have plenty of these. And what else did I get? I got a bead nabber. I thought this would be nice for beading my mirabilias. Um, 
So I'm going to try this one out and see if it's, uh, you know, if it's okay. I might get one of those tacky bobs, but uh, I have a homemade as well. So I got that one and let's see. I like these. These are uh, thread counters. So there are two needles here. And they're connected with this thing and you use it for like when you're gonna count uh, you know uh, where you're gonna start and how far you need to jump so uh, I wanted a set of those and here is like almost the only fabric I got it's a 30 46 count vintage light exemplar it's lakeside linen so i think this is some nice linen and the linen is for my jane fits so i have the chart and i have the threads and i'm too scared to start because there's a lot of specialty stitches and the the weave here is very small and tiny so we'll see but the edges are surged that's so nice yep mm, it smells nice so that's that it's uh, 18 by 27 inches Yes, and then I bought a little, little House Needleworks uh, Friendship. It's a collection of 12 different virtues. And I decided just to get the one. Friendship. So it's not going to be a big stitch. And there is the button in it and then the fabric for it it's, um, it's linen and it's not surged but it's pretty small and it's a it feels a bit different it's um porto bello access Commodities? Commodities? Never mind. It's Studio Linen. Um, I don't know. Yeah, it's 30 count. Yeah. I don't know. So it's going to be stitched on this. There's the pattern and the button. And I ordered the hand dyed finished the hand dyed felt fabric to finish it as a pillow just patience this green nice green i just thought that there was a lot of uh, fabric so i'm wondering how big the finished piece is going to be for me it's going to be like this small but i'm wondering if it's actually going to be bigger i'm not sure so got this and i hope there are some instructions on how to finish it because I have never done anything like this before. But friendship, I have like some special people in mind, which 
makes me think about friendship and then especially my daughter and her best friend so this is like in honor for them stay stay don't all right and then we have i wanted to try a project bag like a plastic one it's called mesh bag i think i chose a too big one i should get a small one this is like 12 by 16 inches so maybe a size smaller but you know, we know we have to try different stuff to know what's good or not yes and then i got two hands across the seas samplers and one is this um Anne Gardner, 1723. Oh, it's so cute. With all the birds and soft, nice colors. And I like the border. It's so... Mm, I like it. And there's some specialty stitches on this. So Nicola Parkman recommended this one if you wanted to, you know, go from just cross stitching and try out some specialty stitches. So she recommends this. So I wanted to do this. And I know I ordered some fabric um, from Jude's Design, X, X Jude Designs. Yeah, so I have the chart, I have the design. So it's just the, the, um, the threads. Um, so I guess I'll be ordering that at some point. But it's so, they're so nice. Very pretty. Yeah. And this is why I fell for Hands Across the Sea. So this is going to be the, the one, you know. Sarah Brasher. Oh, I need to get a thread pack for her. Oh. This is like the sampler of samplers. I've seen this one finished on Nicola Parkman's videos and it's just shines like gold. Oh. I want to learn how to stitch these things, you know. it's so so pretty and it's like almost a little hard in there like yeah so that's all the hole i got oh my god you think that's enough right yeah so i do have quite a few things coming still some i don't know where there are some are stuck in customs and yeah uh my fabric of the month by crafty kitten she's having problem big problems of getting fabric to dye so i mean those are months back but you know it's not that i don't have anything to do <laughs> and i'm getting into a new thing and it's kind of a hobby but it's also like having a pet started out with my daughter who wanted a an orchid mantis you know it's a praying mantis it's an insect and i was like mm -mm. hell no but the more i looked at it and read about it i was like well okay it's not gonna live for that very long so I'm helping her getting, you know, uh, fixing the habitat for this thing. And she's going to, she's not going to get an orchid mantis uh, because it's the first time she's going to try this. So we're going to go for a ghost mantis. I hope I can show you guys, <laughs> not that you, you know, are interested, but 
but uh, looking at these videos on YouTube, I kind of tripped over the YouTubes about snakes. And many years ago when I lived by my own, before I got a family of my own and everything, I had snakes. I had corn snakes, which I love and find very fascinating. So I just might get into that stuff. And that is kind of a hobby. So yeah, 144, remember. Mm -hmm. But it, that has nothing to do with stitching. So let's just drop it. I just wanted to, yeah, let you know. Um, I wish I had a lot more um, stitchy projects to show you, but I have only stitched on the three and I have so many projects projects to start and I want to stitch them all but there is no time for them um, so this is it let's stop talking and let's get back to stitching right stay safe keep your distance wash your hands stay home if you're sick all right and have a nice week. I'll see you soon. And don't forget to use, uh, you know, the word in your comments, H-A-E-D, HAID. And we're going to draw a winner for a uh, Heaven and Earth Design PDF uh, for the next weekend. Yes, and you have to su subscribe. So if you haven't, don't forget to hit that button. And don't forget to fill out the form because those are the only ones who are going to be able to win another design or the first design, a mini, a story keep, a regular or supersized, whatever you feel like. So take care, everyone. Bye.